to another vlog. Um, I have a lot of stuff I have to do today and I don't want to do any of it to be honest. Um, I just got done getting some stuff situated for school because I'm taking a summer semester. Um, now I have to go and get Ellie's birth certificate for kindergarten registration. Um, I have to go pick Evan up soon and I need to go get his hair cut and put gas in my car before all of the psychos like still all of the gas because they think like we're having this massive gas shortage and we're like not but people are crazy so I have to do that and I know there's something else I have to do but for some reason I can't think of it so that's cool hopefully I'll remember soon but yeah that's what we're doing today and I thought I'd bring you guys along with us so yeah Ellie back there. Thank you. We have Mr. Jude Dude. And we're gonna go get Evan. We have Evan picked up now. How's testing? Good. Good. Yeah. What testing did you do today? Was it reading or writing? Language arts. Oh, so like writing. And now we are at my least favorite place in the world. Oh my god, it's so bright. We're at freaking Walmart. Which I want to scrunch me at so bad. You want to what? Like, I don't know what a scrunch me is. It's just um, these scrunchies that have your like little animal on it. They're this unicorn one that I really want. And um, they can clip to your backpack or in your hair. Or you can pull up a hairstyle. Okay. I mostly just came here because they have the s'mores Oreos at Walmart and not at Target because I looked yesterday at Target. Um, so that's pretty much what I came here for. Um, but I'll probably leave more with more than just Oreos as I always do anytime I go to a grocery store. We got the Oreos and I'm excited. I hate how like the limited edition ones are so small. Like I want like a billion of these but they should be pretty good so. All right, so let's try these uh, bad boys out. How are they, Mom? They're so good. Probably one of my favorite Oreo flavors. Oreos are like my favorite cookie, besides like a chocolate chip cookie. And um, I bought Oreos yesterday. <laughs> I already had Oreos, but I had to get the s'mores ones and they're really good. And I got this watermelon Fanta that I tried. Which one right out. It's so good. It's like so like watermelon juice. It tastes like a type of watermelon juice. Uh -huh. Pretty good. Yeah. It is Miss Ellie's last dance class of the season. Yeah, and then in three days, it's my recital. And then next week, we're going to Classic Fun Park. So that's the end of dancing. Yep. She has her dress rehearsal on Friday, recital is Saturday, and then next week, we are going to Classic Fun Center. Um, which if you don't live in Utah, or you live in Utah and you have no idea what it is, it's basically just like what it sounds like. It's just like a big fun place. It's got like arcade games, roller skating, take your scooter in there. Um, they have bounce houses and they have like this weird outside water slide thing. I've never seen anybody ever go on it. I don't know why it's there, but it's pretty fun. We've been a couple of times, but we haven't been since Ellie was like two, like almost three maybe. So it's been a minute. Um, I'm not sure exactly how this is all gonna work because we're in a pandemic. Um, so we'll see what they have open. Um, I told Ellie she should just take her scooter and she can ride around on her scooter. Um, but yeah, I'm sad that it's her last um, dance class of the season. She is taking summer classes. She's taking a summer gymnastics class. I'm taking team. You are on team. Um, love that. Doing team and summer classes. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Um, anyways, yes, she's on team, but team doesn't start until, um, like, August, technically. She'll find out her team placement on June 18th, I think. They're doing a whole thing. And then there's camp in July, like, the end of July. There's, like, a three-day camp thing, which I don't even really remember what that is, other than, like, the last day is, like, a swimming party. And then team starts in, like, August, so... Uh, yeah, it's sad, but um, I think she's kind of ready to be done with it, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, if she can remember her dance, I'm going to have her show it to you guys um, after she gets out. She never remembers them. She'll come home and be like, I forgot, so we'll see if she remembered it this time. What do you think? I can't remember those stuff. You don't think you can? You taking a purse? Ooh, it's a blue purse that matches. Yeah, and I taking a blue water bottle. Oh, cool, cool. So Ellie is home from dance, and she's going to show us um, her dance. Three things. Oh, she has three things to show us. Right now. Good job. Okay, what's the second thing? Okay. Oh. Is that how you're going to walk on the stage? No. Oh. I don't think so. Okay, you ready to show us how much you can remember of your dance? All right. the part with the hula hoop that, that, that one. I know I said what is the part with the hula hoop don't you do that in your dance no oh. then what was you talking to me about a freaking hula hoop in the car about to the side when you're doing it just look straight up while you're doing it like act like yeah like that see you literally have it where you guys get in a big circle and run around? And this one? I, yeah, I think. Yeah. I don't know. You guys are like the waterfall in this dance. Yeah. I think. So they have like a theme for their recital. It's called Mill You. And basically they're all just like different elements of like the earth and stuff. So her dance, they're the waterfall, I think. And then... For gymnastics, they're volcanoes, and then there's like a bunch of other ones. I think, I think one of the ones that was posted today was like a comet or something. I don't know, um, but it's gonna be cute. I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? Ten, 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 ten. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah. I am currently outside of the hospital because I am going to get my first dose 
of the COVID vaccine and I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of nervous. Um, just because like I, I know some of the side effects can be similar to COVID and I had COVID. So that just makes me really nervous. Also, my boss said that like, she heard that the first shot is worse if you've already had COVID and then like the second shot is worse if you haven't. So we'll see. I think I'm getting the Pfizer. Um, I don't think I'll know until I get in there. They offer the Pfizer, the Johnson and Johnson one here. Um, so I'm going to push for the Pfizer cause I don't want the Johnson and Johnson one. Um, but yeah, I will update you guys, uh, when I'm done. I got my vaccine and I survived. I didn't pass out. I have no side effects. I got the Pfizer and um, I feel okay for now. I am sure my arm is going to hurt so bad um, tomorrow, but um, it'll be worth it to uh, be vaccinated. I know I'm only half vaccinated right now, which I think means you're only like 80% protected. Um, at least that's what I heard. I'm not a doctor. Go check the CDC website for actual facts. This is just what I've heard. Um, I'm still going to wear a mask. I will probably still wear a mask even when I've got my other vaccine and I'm fully vaccinated just because I um, want to be extra safe. I'm going to wear a mask until they tell us we don't have to. So, um, but since I did good and I didn't pass out and I'm feeling fine, we're going to go get some ice cream. So it's been a few hours um, since I got my vaccine. I feel completely fine. Um, my arm hurt like really bad, but I took some Tylenol and just kind of like it kept moving my arm. So it barely hurts now. Um, but yeah, I, I feel fine. We'll see how I feel tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Uh, I made a cake. It was delicious. Uh, I'm just practicing because Jude's birthday is coming up and we're doing this party on Sunday. And I just want his cake to look really good. So I've been practicing. This is like the second cake I've made this week. So I think I, I think I got it figured out for his birthday. But yeah, I feel like I don't really have anything else to say. I'm so tired today. It's been a very long, exhausting day um, for so many reasons. Um, but yeah. If you guys liked this vlog, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and tell me if you've got your vaccine yet, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.